Hello, this is Marion Davenport with the League of Women Voters of Portland, and you are watching the Video Voters Guide or listening to our podcast. We are here today talking with candidates running in the November 8, 2022 general election. We are grateful for the support of the Carol and Delma Sailing Foundation, the League of Women Voters of Portland Education Fund, the Weiss Foundation, and our media partner, Metro East Community Media. With me is Ms. Joanna Harbour, running for U.S. House of Representatives, representing Oregon's third congressional district. This district covers much of Multnomah County east of the Willamette, as well as Hood River and parts of Clackamas. Welcome, Ms. Harbour. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for this office. Well, my name is Joanna Harbour and um, I live in Estacada area. I am a lawyer. I am currently the caregiver for my mother. And um, I have been in Oregon since I was 12 years old. Um, and I did go to college in Idaho, but came back to law school at Willamette University in Oregon. And um, I ran in 2020 for this position in the, as a Republican nominee, and I'm running again as a Republican nominee. And um, I decided to run in 2020 for some, many of the same reasons why I'm running now. Um, I believe that it's time for change and that it's time to get some new ideas and new blood into Congress. We have a lot of long-standing incumbents who have been there for decades. And um, I believe we need a new direction and a new voice and someone to represent the district in uh, Washington, D.C. Does the federal government have a role in addressing women's right to privacy and reproductive health decisions? And please explain your answer. Yes, thank you for the question. So as we all know that the U.S. Supreme Court just recently ruled that it's actually up to the states to um, to decide that issue. And so the, the federal government, as of the recent Supreme Court ruling, doesn't have um, a say in that. It's left up to the local level at the state for the, the legislatures and the voters of that state to decide. What actions, if any, should Congress take in order to ensure the economic prosperity is shared by all? So we need to be very careful when Congress gets in, in the business of picking winners and losers, usually everybody wins. And um, we do have laws on the books regarding we cannot discriminate it on the basis of race, religion and gender, and those should remain there. Um, but it really should be left at the local level, at the state level, the ground level where they know what is truly going on. Congress is too far removed. So I think that should be a state level decision. You are listening to the League of Women Voters Portland Video Voters Guide and Interview and Podcast of Ms. Joanna Harbour, who is running for U.S. House of Representatives, representing Oregon's 3rd Congressional District. What should the U.S. Congress be doing on the issue of climate change? So um, I think it's important that we make sure that we are being good stewards of the, the planet, that we're not destroying it, and that we're um, taking adequate care, a care of the resources we have so that they're left for future generations. But we also have to be very careful to make sure we're not harming people in the process. So whatever we do, we have to make sure that they're not making people lose jobs or their livelihoods or displacing people without having replacements to cover that. We need to make sure that we're, while we're trying to take care of the environment, we're also taking care of people. What further federal legislation would you promote, if any, to reduce gun violence in this country? First, we need to actually secure the border to stop the flow of illegal guns and drugs coming in. A lot of the violence stems around the drugs. And um, so we need to secure the border and stop those from entering. We also need to provide better mental health care coverage. Um, I know that that is a huge issue and it, it, there's some places you can't find any health care coverage. So for mental health, we need more mental health resources. And also we need to be securing our schools. A lot of the um, politicians have guarded um, security guards that have guns, but the schools don't have any such protection. So we need to make sure the schools are actually protected so that they're not soft targets. 
what concerns do you have with America's foreign policy? So um, I'm concerned about the amount of money that we're spending. We need to make sure that we're only helping our allies and not our enemies. We need to make sure that we are having our allies backs and that our enemies are actually afraid of us, not like afraid that we're going to do something wrong, but afraid that if they ever go against us, we will protect our interest. And so I think um, we need to work on um, limiting probably how much foreign aid we are giving and make sure we're only giving it to those who support us in the UN and with and align with our strategic interests. What if any changes should be made in the rules concerning stock trading by members of Congress and members of their immediate families? And what are the reasons for your opinion? So I know we need a lot of transparency. Um, there was a recent article in the New York Times and Willamette Week um, regarding potential conflicts of interest in stock trading with senators and U.S. representatives. And so it needs to extend also to their um, spouses. Um, and we need to make sure that we know what they have and what they're doing and how they're doing it. But I think we also need to limit it. Um, if you look at some of these U.S. representatives, they go in not being millionaires, but they come out being millionaires. And we need to get to the bottom of how that happens. Um, this is supposed to be where we're going and we're representing our district. And yes, we need to they need to have an income so they can afford to have a house here in D.C. and all that. But we need to also make sure that they're not using the system to their advantage, but they're actually representing their district. Thank you, Ms. Harbor. This concludes our video voters guide and podcast interview of Ms. Joanna Harbor, who's running for the U.S. House of Representatives, representing Oregon's third congressional district. Election day is Tuesday, November 8th. Please be sure to inform yourself about the candidates and exercise your right to vote. Thank you for joining us.